Hey, hey, welcome to the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am Kristen Ostrander. And I am Amy Fearman. And we want to bring to you right now what, what's new at Amazon. And something that's new at Amazon is creating custom packaging for things like bundles and private label and white label products. Although this is not a brand new policy per se, it's something that Amazon is enforcing and we need you guys to know what is, what is being enforced, what are the new rules and policies and what Amazon's doing and what you can do about it to become compliant and also create a good customer experience with your bundle packaging remembering that Amazon is all about the experience that its buyer has and what they're doing is putting policies and changing things up so that their buyers are getting the best experience so what Amazon is starting to look for is a better experience when you are creating listings on Amazon it's not the listing itself it's the products and how they're presented when they arrive to the buyer that are important so if you've used a GTIN exemption before or you're considering brand registry, you have a private label product, bundles, all these different things, Amazon's new policies and rules, what they want to see now, even if you're filing for a GTIN exemption, which we, by the way, think is going to go by the wayside, eventually Amazon is heading in that direction. They really want to be brand focused. But what they want to see now as of 2020 is professional grade packaging with color logos and contact information and even UPC codes if you have them. We think it's an investment you should make, but it's not required at this time. It's just a little bit more professional. And that is the direction Amazon wants to take people for bundling, for brands, for private label and white label. This is the direction they're moving in. They want to see professional quality. And why does Amazon want this? Because they want the best experience for its customers. Amazon loves its customers. Amazon knows that if its customers are unhappy and don't come back, Amazon doesn't have a marketplace to stand on. So they want to make sure that their customers are receiving the best quality and the best experience possible on the platform to keep them coming back time and time again. Now, unfortunately, Amazon's always going to think of their customer more than they are going to be our, us third-party sellers, right? So they have more of the customer in mind, but this is actually a good thing for us. You know why? It weeds out the lazy people. It weeds out the people that are just trying to sell on Amazon as like a quick cash grab and they have no interest in a long-term sustainable business. We know because we've been in this over 11 years, we understand that Amazon can be a very very profitable, long-term, sustainable business model. And everything that we teach, whether it's our podcast, our YouTube, inside our membership site, wherever else you learn from us, we're going to teach you strategies to keep you in business long-term, long-term sustainability, not just what's going to work in the moment right now to make a quick, quick buck. This is a business. We want to, you to be in long-term. So we want you to be up and up about the new requirements Amazon has when it comes to packaging. So it used to be that with Amazon, you could just slap a label on a box and send it in and call that custom branded packaging. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. And what Amazon is no longer accepting are stickers just slapped on a box, rubber stamps stamped onto a box, low professional, like not professional grade inserts that go into poly bags. They were looking for a better experience for their customers and they want to see more professional level packaging than they ever have before. They've even gone to the point of not even accepting digital mock-ups. So what, what that really means is, you know, your results may vary. Of course, we all know with Seller Central, what might work for me might not work for everyone. Sometimes you'll get a really generous seller support person that'll just like pass your item through, but they're cracking down on this low grade, like, uh, lack of a better word, guys, half-assed um, version of packaging. They want a professional experience. And honestly, don't we, as customers, we want to open a box, not necessarily unboxing like you see all over YouTube all the time of like, oh my gosh, I've got this great thing. But uh, we want to create somewhat of an experience and somewhat of a forward-facing brand for someone. Now, we, we know we're going to get to your doubts and your questions because I know that those are rolling around in your head just like what they were for mine. But the real question is, do you have to comply with these packaging? Do you have to have custom packaging or is this just suggested? Now, while it's not written into Amazon's policies for GTN exemption, it is something that is in brand registry guidelines and based on what we're seeing on Amazon as far as what they're doing with GTN exemption, while it's not written in stone yet, it is something that they are requiring for bundles, private labels. Whenever you're creating a new listing on Amazon, 
you're going to need to have branded packaging. So yes, you do need to do this, but we're not going to leave you hanging either. Yeah, we're not going to leave you hanging. It is something that you need to be able to understand and what to do with it because um, Amazon, even with GTIN exemptions, we know you're not creating this national forward facing brand. A lot of us creating bundles on Amazon, we just need a bundle brand. Even for a bundle brand now, as of today, they are requiring that they you show them packaging that has your brand names on it and they're not accepting Dymo label stickers with your word mark on it. That's not going to cut it. They really want a, a professional grade. Now I can hear you right now. How do I become compliant and how do I do this and how do I not break the bank? It's, it's so expensive. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to I have, I have no design experience. I have no logo. I don't know the lingo, all yeah. of the questions we've been there and guess what? Kristen is the one asking all the questions and I'm living off of my knowledge bank from the design and packaging industry many years ago and being able to leverage that to help you realize that you can do this. It's not as costly as you think. It's not as complicated as you think. And with the right tools and the right resources in place, you're gonna be able to do this for your bundle brand also. So we, we've got your back here because, you know, we've had to do this ourselves. Amazon's requiring a compliance to um, having a better customer experience with custom professional looking products. But I know that sounds scary and expensive and everything else. It is at first if you don't know what you're doing. And so we've got your back. We've got all the answers that you need to be able to co become compliant and learn about how to create custom packaging that's affordable, that's compliant with Amazon, and that's also forward-facing good experience for your customer overall. So we have put together a brand new training to ha for how to create custom packaging. It's a step-by-step -step guide for creating custom packaging for bundles or private label products on Amazon. We cover things like what kind of packaging is available and what will make you Amazon compliant because there are product products that you can bring to the table for packaging that Amazon allows and products that they won't allow. So certain packaging needs to be Amazon compliant. And that's our number one goal here is to be able to get you in a place where you can provide that. The process that you need to go through from hello, I don't even have a logo all the way to printing a nice pretty logo on a package. So we cover all the steps from A to Z to be able to get you the custom packaging that you need for your, whether you're doing bundles, whether you're making handmade quilts in Amazon's asking you to put a brand on it and put it in a poly bag. We've got your back with that. Whatever it is that you're creating, uh, we've got the answers to help you with your custom packaging needs so that you can, number one, be compliant with Amazon, but number two, create this experience for your customer that will actually add profit to your business. Yeah, and we also give you questions to ask potential manufacturers, as well as a glossary of terms for all those words that they're throwing at you that you have no clue what they mean. Oh my gosh, that is so helpful. Honestly, Amy created that really for me <laughs> because I didn't know some of the lingo and while we're putting this training together, I'm like, okay, what does this mean? What does that mean? You don't have to feel like I felt like an idiot. Like I don't know the questions to ask. I don't know what a vector file is. I don't know what offset printing is and what do they mean by that? We've got you covered because we needed it for ourselves because we have to become compliant with Amazon as well. So these types of trainings are usually reserved for our Amazon Hub members, our, our community of advanced sellers who need this type of training. But we know that there are you guys out there that are bundling already, that are doing these things that need this custom package training to be able to move your business forward because Amazon's kind of shutting the door on people. So this is going to be available to the public for a very short time before we keep it in our membership site forever. To access the training, you can head over to mommyincome.com slash custom. You only have a few days to access it before it goes back into, back into the community forever. So remember, head over to mommyincome.com slash custom to get your access to this training today. 